Hier, hier, hier. Hier, howdy, fellow YouTubers, Mr. Z Bunch of Numbers here. Putting on a hat today for a little bit of character, but anyways, let's get started with these updates. Let's go. Anyways, the Aston Mini Cooper, the 2011 uh, Track Stars, metal base, plastic body. Seems to be reasonably hard to find, and the short card from the set my Wally, they had recently put out uh, short cards and unfortunately I missed when they put them out fresh so I missed the treasure hunt. I would have got a short card GTO if I would have caught it but I didn't. Uh, I got another BMW M3 short card. Now I got this one because it's not all messed up. It doesn't have like goobers all over it like the other one I had from the K-Day event. But yeah even the headlight decals are straight. The only thing that isn't straight is there's a little BMW logo on the back that's off-centered but other than that's pretty good. Got another Purple Passion Mystery card. This is the a newer version, I'm assuming. A newer production date because it was in amongst like a bunch of newer cars. So I'm assuming this is a newer production date that we're going to open later and see if it is the non-license um, plate version. It's just a smooth back version, I'm hoping. So anyways, on to the next one. The 37 Bugatti. Five dot wheels. It says Hot Wheels Classic on the side. The 2007 new model, Shelby Daytona Coupe. Love this color combination. If this would have been the treasure hunt colors, it would have been actually a nice and worthy treasure hunt. Instead, they insisted on putting it in orange, which I don't like. The Circle Tracker. Obviously, the Circle Trucker was released lately, and that was just a play off of this one, except for a truck. The Raja Daja. One of my new favorites, as far as castings go. I've always liked this car because my dad had this car a while ago and I saw it and I was like, man, I like that car. I need to get me one of those. Yes, I even saw it in my dad's collection. He had one before I did. The Ford Anguilla with the kind of Union Jack looking graphics on the top and number eight and a bunch of graphics on the outside of it. Looks very cool in the flat gray and kind of the flat, you know, silver gray bottom. Very cool looking little car and unique. The Plymouth Superbird with the 10 spokes in the yellow paint variation. The 10 spokes in the blue paint variation. The Faster Than Never green paint variation. And then the 10 spoke. Now the top one looks a little bit darker than the bottom one. I do also have the copper version of this car in a short card. And then the Drop Tops 1933 Ford with the kind of blade wheels on the back then the drag tops and roadsters um, five spoke wheel variation of that car now so that's what I find interesting about this one is that the difference in cards on these um, this one is 07 vehicles and this one is also 07 vehicles and I'm just kinda curious as to why the cards and the cars are so different it's a very interesting variation. The Lincoln Continental 1964 Trix. Dad works at General Mills, so this is a cool little car to have. The Invader Mainline, collector number 193 from 2006, with the orange missile in front. Both of the variations for the uh, hard nosed Grand Illusion. The 2008 models, uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 10. Now this one, the card is installed sideways, so it's kind of like hanging off the edge here. It's interesting. I never noticed that when I bought it, but obviously now I notice it. The Dogfighter, this is the one that I originally bought. It's got tag goo all over it, and it's typical for my early years of collecting. Wasn't really worried as much about condition. And then the 2001 First Editions La Troca. La Troca! The Lotus Heritage Classic Series for Matchbox. Europa. The Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Oh yeah. Mr. Z and his cowboy hat would look fly riding down the street in this sucker. The MBX 4x4. Kind of like a Toyota FJ. All um, kind of narrowed out for rock crawling. The Cockney Cab 2, obviously this is a remake of the original Cockney Cab Redline. 
I never knew that when I bought it, but now I've become a more experienced collector. I understand that there was original version of that in the red lines. The fat backs, Shelby Cobra 427SC from 2004. And then my red line series cars, 32 Ford Vicky with metal base. The Chevy Nomad. Really like the color combination on this one. The Sidekick. All these again are metal based. And then another Demon. I actually do have two of these. The next one is the Fatbacks Exhausted in the blue. The Nissan Z from the 2006 first editions. And then another one in the blue and orange variation. The Pro Stock Firebird. Really like this color combo with the kind of pearly blue flames and pearl pink or purple paint. Very cool. And then two of the 2009 Ford F-150s. This is the black and red variation, which I really like. And then the blue, red, white, and blue version. Um, this might be a race group special, red, white, and blue. Really like that truck. And last but not least is the Track Aces Subaru Impreza. Um, this is collector number... I'm not sure about the collector number on this one, but uh, let's see if we can find it on here somewhere. It's 07 models, so look in 07 models track star series and you should be able to find that. So anyways, that's it for this update. Thanks y'all for watching. Peace until my next one.